Hello everyone, in this video we're going to draw a prairie dog. Start by drawing a circle as a guide for the head. To draw the circle, first make two small marks to indicate the circle's length, and then on the sides make two more small marks to indicate the circle's width. Then connect the marks using curved lines to finish the shape of the circle. Sketch lightly at first so that it's easy to erase if you make a mistake. Also, pause the video to draw at your own pace. The circle doesn't have to be perfect, but if you're having trouble drawing it, just trace the outer edge of a coin, a bottle cap, or anything else with a circular edge. Leave enough space below the circle for the rest of the body. Inside the head, draw a curved horizontal line. This is a construction guide that will help you place the facial features later on. Draw this line close to the top edge of the head. On the top left side, draw a short vertical line for another construction guide. Under the horizontal guide, draw a small circle as a guide for the muzzle. This circle should touch the left edge of the head. The top part of this circle should be above the horizontal guide. Pay attention to the size and position of the circle in relation to the head. Below the head, off to the right, draw a bigger circle as a guide for the lower half of the body. Use the 4 marks method to draw this circle too. First make 4 small marks to indicate the sides of the circle, and then connect the marks using curved lines to finish the shape of the circle. This circle should be about two times the size of the head circle. Don't draw this circle too close to the head or the body will be too short. Now connect the circles using vertical lines to finish the top half of the body. Draw these lines so that the bottom section is wider than the top. The line on the right should be more curved than the line on the left. Inside the top section of the body, draw a short angled line as a guide for the first front leg. Bend the line twice to indicate where the joints will be. On the left side of the body, draw a short curved line as a guide for the other front leg. Under the body, draw two short lines that slope down into the left as guides for the hind legs. Pay attention to the length of these lines in relation to the body. To the right, Draw a short horizontal line as a guide for the tail. And that's it for the guidelines. Now let's start on the final drawing. Inside the head, lightly sketch a small circle for the eye. Place this circle on top of the horizontal guide and to the right of the muzzle. Pay attention to the size of the eye in relation to the head. When you get the size and position of the eye right, darken the shape. Draw a very small angled line on the lower left side of the circle for the corner of the eye. Add a few small curved lines around the eye for the skin. Slightly higher above the eye, draw a few short strokes for fur. Inside the eye, off to the side, draw a tiny circle for a highlight. In the middle of the eye, draw a dot for the pupil. Now shade in the rest of the eye. Don't overlap the tiny highlight circle as you shade the eye. Use a value that's lighter than the pupil to shade the eye. The eye on the left is invisible from this angle because the head is slightly turned. Inside the circle for the muzzle, draw a small angled line for the nose. This line should be similar to a wide letter V. Place the nose close to the left edge of the muzzle. Add an extra line below the nose to make the shape thicker. On the sides of the nose, draw two short curved lines for the nostrils. Above the nose, draw a series of short strokes for fur. Below the nose, draw a short vertical line. Angle the line to the right to create the first part of the mouth. Sketch lightly at first and when you get the shapes right, darken the lines. To the left, draw a short line for the other side of the mouth. 
Use short strokes as you darken the mouth for a furry texture. Use the small circle as a guide to draw the rest of the muzzle. Follow the curvature of the circle as you draw the muzzle. Make the left side of the muzzle slightly thinner than the circle. Under the mouth, draw a short curved line for the chin. Add a few short lines on the right side to emphasize the shape of the muzzle. Use short strokes as you draw these lines for a furry texture. To the right of the nose, draw a couple of rows of dots for the base of the whiskers. To the right of the eye, draw a short curved line for the small ear. Draw the ear on top of the horizontal construction guide. On the left side, draw a few short strokes for fur. Add a couple of short curved lines within the shape to give the ear more structure. Now use the first circle as a guide to draw the rest of the head. Darken the basic path of the circle to create the shape of the head. Make the top part of the head flatter than the circle. Make the top left side of the head slightly thinner than the initial circle. Use short strokes as you draw the head for a free texture. Don't darken the lower edge of the circle. On the bottom part of the head, draw a few short strokes for the fur on the neck. Now use the angled line inside the body as a guide to draw the first front leg. Draw a short curved line around the bottom tip of the guide for the first toe. At the bottom of the toe, draw a thin pointy shape for the nail. To the right, draw another short curved line for another toe. Make the bottom part pointy for the nail. On the top right side, draw an even shorter curved shape for a smaller toe. To the left of the first toe, draw a short vertical line for the final toe. Extend this line higher up to create the top part of the leg. On the right side, below the guide, draw a curved line for the bottom part of the leg. Sketch lightly at first and when you get the shape right, darken the line using short strokes for a furry texture. Add a few more short strokes at the top and within the shape to emphasize the fur. Use the short curved line that's on the left side of the body as a guide to draw the other front leg the same way. First, draw a couple of toes on the bottom tip of the guide. Each toe should be similar to a small letter U. At the bottom of each toe, draw a thin pointy shape for the nails. On the right side, draw a couple of short curved lines for the inner edge of the foot. To the left, draw a curved line that's made up of short strokes to finish the top part of the leg. Now use the main shapes in the middle as guides to draw the body. Darken the outer edges of the guides to create the shape of the body. Use short strokes as you darken the lines to create a furry texture. Make the bottom right side of the body slightly longer than the initial circle. Darken the left edge of the big circle using short strokes for the furry underside of the body. On the bottom of the body, draw a few vertical lines that are made up of short strokes for the top part of the leg. Use the line under the body as a guide to draw the first hind foot. Draw a short curved line on the bottom tip of the guide for the first toe. Add a thin pointy shape on the tip of the toe for the nail. Above that, draw a sloping line for the visible part of another toe. To the right, draw two smaller toes the same way. On the tip of the toes, draw small triangular shapes for the nails. Now draw the shape of the other hind leg around the guide on the left. Draw a series of short curved lines along the bottom part of the guide for the toes. 
Add small triangular shapes on the tips of the toes for the nails. On the top left side, draw a couple more short curved lines for more toes. The overall shape of the foot should be thin. Now draw the small tail around the guideline on the right. Sketch lightly at first and when you get the shape right, darken the lines. Use short strokes to draw the tail for a furry texture. Now erase the initial guidelines. The next few steps are sped up so that the video won't be too long. Don't worry about erasing all of the guidelines, it's okay if you leave some behind. Redraw any of the final lines that you may have accidentally erased. Now shade your drawing. Use a series of short strokes as you shade. Draw the strokes going in the direction of the fur. On the head, the strokes radiate outward from the nose. Shade lightly at first and then gradually build up to a darker value. Push down very lightly on your pencil for a light value and then push down harder for darker values. Use strokes that have a vertical orientation on the body. Add shadows on the body using a darker value. Shadows will give the figure more dimension and volume. As you shade, separate each stroke a bit so that the white of the paper comes through and creates a more furry texture. Shading can be time consuming, so be patient and take breaks. It's a good idea to use reference as you shade for a more accurate depiction of a prairie dog. Draw a shadow at the bottom using a medium value. This grounds the prairie dog so that it doesn't appear to be floating. Keep shading until you're happy with the result. And that's it for the prairie dog. Don't forget to pause the video to draw at your own pace. Also please visit howtodrawanimals.com where every step of this tutorial is broken down into an individual image. That's how, then the number 2, then drawanimals.com. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and a comment. Also subscribe for more videos in the future. Thank you for watching and until next time, keep drawing.